Easy is a stretchable term. Hello everyone, today is going to be a two for one um, in two ways because it's a guitar workout and a mini lesson and you'll be learning two things. The first one is something that I like to call athletic acuity, which basically means we're going to be doing big jumps around up and down the neck. And the second one is something that is called being able to play a scale horizontally on one string. So basically what we're going to be doing is this. That's basically the exercise. I added a little bit of rhythm because I wasted too much time when I started out playing because nobody told me I didn't know any better um, with mechanical exercises that were really unmusical. So this is an exercise, but I tried to add some rhythm with it and a little bit of groove if you want to call it that to make it more musical. Whenever you want to touch this, you want to be musical. So um, if you know the notes on each fret and go ahead, good for you, jump on ahead to the timestamp and do the workout with me. If you don't bear with me, grab a piece of tablature paper if you have one or a piece of blank paper. And um, if you have a piece of blank paper, then um, do six horizontal lines for the strings. Draw them big enough so you'll be able to read this later. Vertical lines for the frets. Use no Roman numerals to designate one, three, five, seven, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Um, and then draw little circles where I'm going to tell you to draw them and um, label them with the pitches that I'm going to tell you in a second. I'm going to go through each string. Uh, rewind this, use the slowdown feature on YouTube because otherwise this video will be too long. I'm going to go through all the strings. So um, first up, a uh, piece of advice, use your middle finger. It's a very strong and confident finger. And um, use your eyes when you do jumps on the neck, which it can be very useful if you know how to do this, if you do position changes. And the last thing you want to do when you do this is hit a bad note, right? So use your eyes to aim at the fret you want to hit. So right now I'm doing 312 on the little E string with my middle finger, 312, 312. And I'm looking at 12 and 3 back and forth. And I'm doing this because that's basically the exercise. Every string is going to start out with 312 instead, uh, except the G string is going to be 4 to 12 because it just happens out that way works out that way because we're going to be doing no sharps no flats if you don't know what that means ignore it for now um so i'm going to tell you the frets now and each string will be playing um low e string is going to be three five seven eight ten twelve and fifteen a string is going to be the same three five seven eight ten twelve and fifteen a d string is going to be three five seven nine ten twelve and fifteen G string is going to be 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, and 16. B string is going to be 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 15. And the high E string, just like the low E string, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 15. Now, the names are the notes. You know, standard sequence, your ABCs, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's really no magic, just the starting point's different. Um, with uh, with uh, whatever note you're starting the scale with. So no sharps, no flats, we're starting on the low E string, third fret's a G. So G, A, B, C, D, E, and G. A string, C, D, E, F, G, A, and C. D string, F, G, A, B, C, D, and F. G string, B, C, D, E, F, G, and B. B string, D, E, F, G, A, B, and D. And high E string, just like the low E string, G, A, B, C, D, E, and G. Every string starts out with 312, basically, and ends with 315. Because I'm going to do bam, bam, and end it with an octave, which is like a plus 12 frets on the guitar, so 3 plus 12 equals 15, right? Except on the G string, it's going to be 4, 12, and 4, 16. So if you've never done this before, um, start out by doing 315, uh, 312 first on each string, just your left hand. And uh, get good at that. Use your eyes to aim. And um, do it right in the G string right away, because otherwise you're going to be having a problem with your muscle memory. It happens pretty quickly, which is good. Muscle memory, good people. 412 in the G string. So everything's 312 instead of, uh, except the G string is going to be 412. And then you do 315 on each string, except the G string, because it's going to be 416. So I started doing it this way. Then use your own tempo, you know. This is not supposed to break your pulse or your ego. It's supposed to hopefully help you. 
um, and then maybe work your way up to the tempo, which I'm going to be doing 130, which is slower than what I played before. So I hope you like it and hope you get something out of it. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Tempo is a cool and relaxed 130 BPM. You will definitely need to focus for this one. And so will I. But we can do it. Let's do it a couple times in a row. How about that? Ready? One, two, tres, hombres. One, two, one more time. 